How each rivalry can be resolved in Cobra Kai Season 5. Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video. Cobra Kai has seen various feuds created. Some haven't existed since Episode 1. Here's how they can be solved during the upcoming Season 5. So many rivalries have been installed in Cobra Kai, and Season 5 can distinctly analyze them. During four seasons, the theme of the feud has been at the heart of Cobra Kai. Evidently, for a narrative founded on martial arts, competition and rivalries inherently come with it. But the issue for the Cobra Kai characters is that their feuds frequently lead to negative consequences on their personal lives and the lives of their buddies. Thanks to senseis like Kreese and his strike first Cobra Kai mindset, those personal matters are used to explain dreadful moves and start essential quarrels. Cobra Kai's legendary LaRusso home evasion and crazy school fight are excellent illustrations. But before we start, know that if you did not watch season 4, be aware that the following will be full of spoilers. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and try to be the first to like and comment on the video. Plus, turn on notifications so that you won't miss any of the new videos. Do that now to help us reach a lot more fans of Cobra Kai out there. How will Kreese get out of prison and back into the dojo? Let's go through every theory we know on how John Kreese gets out of jail in Netflix's Cobra Kai Season 5. From senseis to learners, nearly every character in Cobra Kai has its own opponent. However, these feuds are limited to the mat, while others are played out in their day-to-day -day lives, with rivalries like Robbie and Miguel going on for nearly the entire series. Cobra Kai Season 5 may be the moment for some characters' problems with each other finally to be settled. Johnny vs. Daniel Cobra Kai's authentic feud, the one that has been maintained since Karate Kid, at this point, being always at odds with each other seems almost like an automatic behavior for Daniel LaRusso and Johnny Lawrence. While Cobra Kai Season 3 had promised that those two would finally work together, Season 4 proved that it would not be that easy. From their first lesson together in the mission to stop Cobra Kai, Daniel and Johnny reminded audiences why, almost 40 years later, they still cannot stand each other. For every step forward taken, two steps back followed. Whether due to disagreements in karate or personal philosophies, Larissa and Lawrence's rivalry grew in Cobra Kai Season 4 rather than diminishing. However, after the disastrous results of the All-Valley Karate Tournament, it seems the time has finally come for Daniel and Johnny to leave their rivalry behind. Thanks to their constant bickering, Daniel and Johnny had to watch, among other things, Miguel give up the fight and Sam lose to her biggest rival. They will now have to tolerate seeing the valley filled with Cobra Kai dojos headed by Terry Silver. Shortly before Sam's fight with Tori, Daniel and Johnny admitted that they had screwed up, and they had to actually work together for Sam to have any chance against Tori. Daniel's daughter lost the fight, but her two masters could continue the collaboration. Johnny is now heading to Mexico to find Miguel, while Daniel is teaming up with Chosen to continue teaching Miyagi-Do. At the beginning of Cobra Kai Season 5, Daniel and Johnny will likely be separated, which could help them work better together later on. Here is how six confrontations can be resolved in Season 5. Sam vs. Tori Along with Miguel vs. Robbie, Sam vs. Tori is Cobra Kai's most complex rivalry. Just like the relationship between Miguel and Robbie, the conflict between Sam and Tori goes far beyond Karate. The two disliked each other upon their first meeting, and grew to be polar opposites on almost every matter. After Season 4 revolved around these two characters' conflict, Cobra Kai Season 5 can either double down on that storyline, or finally have Sam and Tori working their rivalry out. Sam is obviously upset for having lost the tournament. Still, Tori is frustrated by the rigged match, and may not feel worthy of her victory, thus being more open to making amends with Sam. Miguel vs. Kyler The first rivalry between Cobra Kai's original characters to be established in the show. Kyler was Miguel's bully, thus being Miguel's primary reason for getting into Johnny's Cobra Kai. Those two had a rematch in Season 3, with Miguel defeating Kyler despite recovering from a significant injury. Now that Miguel does not perceive karate as the most essential thing in his life, and Kyler has become more of a comic relief than an actual villain, there may not be much of their rivalry in Season 5. That said, Miguel and Kyler will probably never get along very well. Hawk vs Kyler 
like Miguel versus Kyler. Hawk versus Kyler is a rivalry born in the pre-Karate era, when Miguel, Eli, and Dimitri could not defend themselves. However, Hawk's confidence boost made him a bully himself, and even Kyler was scared of him. After all that time, Season 4 flipped that relationship once more by having Hawk unsure of himself and Kyler calling him Lip again. However, now that Eli slash Hawk has joined Miyagi-Do and has finally found himself, he probably will not care about being scarier or tougher than his old bully. Miguel vs. Robbie Miguel and Robbie's feud is the perfect illustration of conflict outside karate. In fact, the confrontation between those two started before they clashed with each other for the first time. When Robbie saw Johnny give Miguel a very special Cobra Kai G, he started visualizing his father's student as a possible replacement that Johnny had found for him. Because of the jealousy of the relationship between Johnny and Miguel, Robbie decided to get closer to Daniel LaRusso, all as a way to make his father upset. As if that wasn't enough, the love triangle between Sam, Robbie, and Miguel made the feud between Johnny's son and pupil even more emotional. The school brawl took their dispute to the next level and brought important impacts for them. Even after that, Miguel and Robbie persisted to be two polar opposite foes, especially after Robbie got back with Sam. Robbie has been acting out of jealousy and bitterness for quite some time, but the end of Cobra Kai Season 4 reveals that he is ready to change. Upon his All Valley loss, Robbie informed that he is exhausted of reproaching Johnny for everything, and that's a powerful step in his character growth. If Robbie eventually works things out with Johnny, he could also be ready to reunite with Miguel. A probable friendship or cooperation between Robbie and Miguel, two of Cobra Kai's best fighters and most influential characters, is an opportunity too good not for Season 5 to explore. Kenny vs. Anthony Cobra Kai's most recent feud While Anthony was the original tormentor, Kenny is now under Kreese and Silver's direct influence, setting him on a perilous track. Unfortunately, given how this battle has just been raised, Anthony and Kenny's rivalry may deteriorate on Cobra Kai Season 5 before it could even be fixed. Hawk vs. Robbie Hawk and Robbie do not have personal disputes as severe as others' opponents mentioned. Still, they do have a past in terms of martial arts. In Season 1, Hawk got disqualified in the tournament after striking Robbie from behind. In Season 4, Hawk defeated Robbie to become the champion. While Cobra Kai Season 5 will likely not have another tournament, Robbie and Hawk could later fight each other again and settle this conflict between some of Cobra Kai's best fighters, perhaps in a more sporting way. We can't wait for Season 5 to be released on September 9th. In the meantime, watch Cobra Kai Season 4 now on Netflix. And that wraps it up for today's video. We love to mix a little bit of speculation with facts. Please let us know the theories you have about this upcoming season in the comments. And before leaving, be sure to check out our excellent Cobra Kai playlists. Are you a true fan of Cobra Kai? What do you think about all that? What are your expectations for Season 5? Just share your thoughts in the comment section now. Also, what other TV show would you like us to talk about on the channel? Tell us in the comment section now. Would you like to see Mike Barnes or Hilary Swank return to the Karate Kid franchise? What do you think about Terry Silver and Chosen returning to Cobra Kai? Let us know what you think in the comment section now. We take time to read and like every comment. We can't wait for the release of Cobra Kai Season 5, so stay tuned to the channel for more news about Cobra Kai. And if you like this video and would like to hear from us again, click the subscribe button below before leaving so we know that you enjoyed our video. Also, don't forget to go watch our other videos. See you next time!